So the Mr. Misters event, that was the initial event that I covered that really, you know, sparked the, the national, uh, you know, I would say protest to these child drag events that really put it in the spotlight. We were standing outside the event waiting to get checked in with our tickets. And, you know, John Doyle and a few other protesters had actually walked up at that moment. And, you know, they're they're asking these, you know, these parents, they, they have children with them. They're dressed, you know, my kid's trans shirt, stuff like that. And, you know, John simply asked these parents, he says, you know, why do you want to essentially put an ax wound between your child's legs because you know when you receive a phalloplasty surgery or any bottom or top surgery that's quite literally how your body reacts to it is it acts as if it's an open wound so if you were to get hit with an ax that's how your body is going to heal from you know one of these transition surgeries so that was really the the first initial thing that sparked things of that protest and you know then antifa seemed to show up and there was a clash between the protesters and Antifa um, for hours at a time while we were inside the event. And, you know, I got inside the event and immediately it's low lighting. There's signs that saying, you know, if, you know, it's not gonna lick itself, um, signs saying lick me all over, you know, all of the above, just very sexually crude um, sayings and lighting um, just all throughout the business. But it really seemed like a strip club when I first arrived. I was sitting next to a child at a uh, bar and the bartender was serving drinks over his head in this instance and he was with you know, his two parents and then another woman was there. So I don't know, you know what that relationship is like, if it's polyamorous, there's three women in it. Um, but you know, the bartender was actually having a conversation with this child. He was no older than 10 years old, I would say probably eight years old. Um, he had a Nintendo DS and a Rubik's Cube the entire event. And while she was talking, while he was talking to uh, this child, the bartender, you know, he asked him, hey, you know, are you gay? And the child just straight up told him, he said, no, you know, I'm not gay. And his mom butt in and, you know, began almost bickering back and forth with the kid and saying, you know, yeah, no, he is gay. Don't let him, you know, lie to you. He's just nervous. He's just shy about, 